this setup will be exploring the TP-Link Omada setting. So currently this is the one side facing the ISP. So I have two ISP that are set up and this is my LAN. So currently I have uh, one switch. The one is powering so it's a PoE switch power over ethernet. So this is powering my Omada controller. The Omada controller controls the gateway, this one, the APs. Okay, so how many access point I have is just three. So this is in the first floor, second floor, and third floor. They are geographically uh, apart. Okay, so that's the simple setup for my Omada. And aside from that, I have um, SSID how much? So how many I SSID is I have for the one is for the IOT, Internet of Things. Those are the switches, the plugs. And number two is my LAN local so this is a uh, number three is more my guest guest network so why i am separating them is this one is for the plugs and the cameras so if ever you have a internet of things i don't want to share my internet of things with the local LAN because this LAN has a PC, a NAS, network attached storage, and some laptops. So this is my main SSID. So my cell phones are connected here and my other network device that requires high speed internet connection. Okay. And for the guest network, this will be given to the guest in my home. So if ever I have visitors, I'll just give them the guest SSID and SSID password. And also this will comes with a voucher. So voucher, so if ever you want to share internet, just use the voucher, okay? So you will have control on their session. It's either ours months or days so that's why this omada system has a voucher so how would i separate them through vlans so this is vlan 10 20 30 so each of them has a three vlans for the three network aside from them they have they are utilizing different subnets so 192.168.x.x each network okay so that's how i separate my traffic through the lan side this is why i am separating like this to optimize my devices and to have more controls because if i i want to disable an iot device i'll just click disable the one and all the device will be disconnected on the internet if i want to disconnect a guest i'll just send a disconnection or disable the authentication without giving my personal password and don't have the access to the network attached storage so just like that very simple and by the way my network attach storage is somewhere here in the switch and it is a NAS so network attach storage so here is the movies the music and the pics so they are synchronized centralized in the NAS so if ever my phone my laptop wants to access the music movies and pics they'll just need to access the network attached storage then you will have the access 
regardless just connected through the wi-fi so it's local then rather going to the internet by the way uh nas uh, for local storage and i also use some of the cloud storage like google and other cloud services so that's how very complicated uh, setup so very simple so this lan are operating at a failover so failover concept if ever one fails traffic will be shifted automatically to pldp but it will took sometimes around two minutes of failover so that's why two minutes outage before it can shift because the tp link needs to recalculate its destination route before switching to the secondary route secondary isp that's how very efficient the system so this has been working so far for more than three years already very stable connection and good and i always get updates from omada tp link for the devices that i'm deploying right now so very simple if you want to deploy a piece of wi-fi or the voucher system it is already ready in the number three so if ever you're lost in my neighborhood you can buy the the checking the voucher for a certain period of time but it is not legal to just sharing it to the neighbors for the internet connection okay for more please do share and subscribe on my youtube channel comment your recommendations and i hope you learned something about this video thank you and see you around